Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Hope you're having a great day. For today's video, I'll be sharing some dyes and a couple other items that I picked out from In Love Art Shop from their online store. And um, this time around, I picked out two sets of dyes and I'll share those. So this one here I was really excited about. So I thought it was just a really cute design. It's called the Trapezoidal Bookshelf Tag Die and it makes a little uh, bookshelf box and it is bigger than I expected but still just really cute and a great size. Comes with three pieces, the main piece here and then these two layering pieces for the sides. And um, it is bigger, you'll need um, a bigger machine than the Big Shot, uh, the Sizzix Big Shot. Uh, the cutting uh, platform is um, a little too small for this. So uh, the die measures seven and a quarter inches wide by 13 and three quarters inches long. So I was able to make it work. I just ran it through the cutting machine as far as I could this way. Um, and then as far as I could this way, and then I cut a little bit um, of the top here. I was able to cut. So for the pieces, mainly kind of like the, the middle area here and a, a little piece up here that did not cut through, um, that I was not able to run through the cutting machine, I just took my bone folder and kind of burnished it and was, was able to cut through that way. So it still worked and I was able to use it, but I just want to let you know the size on that. And then the other die set that I picked out is this one, super cute. It's a uh, um, clip metal cutting dies is what it's called. And it cuts out these really cute uh, bulldog clips with the little heart design there. And it comes in three sizes. So I thought that one was really fun. And then I picked out a sequins mix. This one is called Crystal Pink. Super pretty and very sparkly. So I did um, put it on this little dish here. So hopefully you can really see the sparkle there. And the different little sequins. It comes with flowers, uh, regular sequins, some shells in two different sizes. Uh, these little round ones here look like film reels to me. Um, super cute little stars. Um, I just thought it was um, just a pretty color, very sparkly. And I also picked out these really cute um, gummy bear clips, and they do come in other colors. They come in a set of two, so I picked out the pink set and the purple set. And they have other designs, other colors, but how cute are these? I thought these would be perfect for some birthday themed projects or just summer, like summer treats. Really cute colors. So I picked those out and I'll go ahead and share what I created. So here is the bookshelf box all cut out. I used the Marigold Paper Collection by Crate Paper and Maggie Holmes. And um, the layering die cuts out this top layer here with the pattern uh, writing. And um, I went ahead and just cut another layer underneath that. Uh, pretty basic shape. So I just measured and cut it um, with a border so that I can add the gold border there for the front and the back here. And then it does not come with these uh, with anything to layer on the front or the back spine here. But like I said, it's pretty um, basic, just a rectangle. And um, I just kind of measured and cut my own uh, matting pieces there for the front and back. And then I just did some layering and fussy cutting with the paper collection and added some gold stickers, the rosette, this really pretty swan. That I fussy cut and this um, little banner piece that says together so I thought that turned out cute and like I said it's a good size it fits um, these cards that I made a while ago using some of the embossing folders from in the art shop so the cards fit perfectly um, in the box or you can make a mini album and put it in here or even um, like a tag style uh, tag flip style mini album or store some embellishments to gift so lots of different things you could do with this cute little box so there's that and these are 
the clip embellishments that I created. I made them into shakers and I did use um, the shaker mix in crystal pink that I picked up. And the only thing I added to the shaker mix is a little bit of gold uh, sequins just to make it match the paper collection. But I thought these were so cute and fun. So this is the largest one. And I added a little tassel and bead up at the top here. And then just um, some of the stickers that come with the paper collection. This little flower, the love, popped up on some foam and some little pearls there. So cute. I really, really like these, the design of these little clips. And here's the, the medium size, the middle size. Same thing, I just added some little dangles there and the same sequins mix and added some of the stickers from the collection there on foam dots. And here is the smallest one, the little baby one. So cute. And same thing. So for these I did, um, for the shaker part, I used vellum on the back and acetate on the front so that you could really see all that sparkle coming through and since um, I sewed around the vellum and um, acetate so I didn't use any foam so they're really thin I just had to be really careful to sew as close as possible to the edge there because it's you know like a thin edge but I think they turned out cute and yeah, I just did not use um, the foam layer, but you can definitely use the foam if you're creating your shakers. So those are the three different sizes on the clips and the book box glitter and then these cute little uh, gummy bear clips. So that's what I picked out, guys. I do have a discount code if you um, are inspired and you want to go check out inlawartshop.com um, if you want to save a uh, percentage on your order use code SOPHIA S-O-P-H-I-A and um, you'll get a discount on your order and that's it guys I'll link everything in the description box below thank you so much for watching and um, let me know what you guys think leave me a comment I love to see your comments all right bye guys see you in the next video